Okay, honey, I've got all of the names here of all of the uh, commenters ready for the drawing. Do you, can I borrow your hat? Definitely, yes. Actually, I got the perfect thing. What? What is this? What? It sh flip it, show us, what flip. is this? Try me on and I will tell you where you want to be. You didn't return it to Professor McGonagall, did you? I, I did. It just kept coming back to me that entire week. Oh, it'll be cheaper to mail once we're out there. Okay. All right, fine. Turn him over. I hope you don't mind, sir. We're just gonna flip some names around. And uh, I'm not looking. Let's see. Roxanne Dubois. Roxanne Dubois, you are the one who has won the drawing of a miniature wand. This is Professor Rowan. I'm coming to you from Dublin, from the cauldron. Not the leaky cauldron, this one doesn't leak. Where they're going to be giving us some classes on some spirit recipes. I'm really excited and I hope you enjoy. This is the first of our videos from Ireland. It's really powerful, so you have to return it in one piece. Okay. <laughs> no exploding. No, no exploding. So. Okay. One vial for me, 
vial for you? Yes. Do you want to pour your own vial or do you want me to pull your fine? I trust you, Portions Master. All right. You shouldn't have trusted me. <laughs> one vial of gin. First student. To the mixture or bottle with blue striped Ipsom alcohol. Alcohol is a universal solvent, so of course, of course. It works well. Add one measure essence of lavender per student to the mixing bowl. Use the measuring cup provided to do this. So use a cup of this per student. You are sweet or less sweet? I'm gonna go mid ground. I prefer sweet, but I know you're less sweet. No, no, I don't mind sweet as long as it's not too saccharine cool. sweet. Okay. Stir six times clockwise, adding one anti-clockwise stir for every third clockwise stir. So, so three, three back, one, three back. One, two, three. I don't think one. Three. One, two, three. One. Okay. All right. Summon your potion master to take the mixture away for enchantment. So there you have it. That was the Transfiguration Tonic. I'm not going to show you the second brew that we potion that we did, the uh, Lost Time. It was an advanced potion, first off, and secondly, I need to let them keep their own secrets, right? So, but here's my review portion of the thing. It was an amazing experience. I know for reviews you need to give good points and bad points, so the good points are it was very engaging. It was um, very hands-on. The um, spell work was very interactive and top-notch. I felt very involved in the entire experience. Um, I liked the robes that they lent us, though slight bad note, I suppose. Um, Wolfie is a bit bigger of a gentleman and his robes would not fit across his shoulders. So there is that. But my robes were quite comfortable, thank you. We met some really wonderful other witches and wizards. Um, they're in the footage. They, they are in the footage. Um, sorry about that. One an expat of Brazil, one from Ireland himself, and we got to spend a lot of time talking to them, so that was a lot of fun as well. The potions themselves were quite delicious. Um, I'm not much of a gin fan, so the Transfiguration Tonic, I did not finish all of mine, I will admit, but I did definitely finish my Lost in Time. Um, it was quite good. As well as your lion. Yes, yes, my lion's head drink I also finished as well. That was quite tasty. I expected more of a ginger, but it was came in as kind of pineapple. It was, ooh, it was good. Um, also, you know, increased spell powers, never a bad thing. It's in an area of Dublin that is full of inns everywhere you go um inns a uh, couple fortresses were you know less than a block away so we were able to get some of that done on our way through it was generally a wonderful experience the only negatives i'd have to say is um it, the music was a little loud so i didn't actually feel comfortable recording my review there because i was afraid that you wouldn't be able to hear me in fact i was afraid that I was going to have to do um, subtitles or overlays over all of the footage that we did shoot because I was afraid you would not be able to hear what we were saying. They also didn't have brooms. The other thing is that they had run out of brooms. Well, actually a witch or wizard had flown away with the last broom the night before, which makes Wolfie upset because he had really wanted one. You've got several wands already. We've got a lot of t-shirts. 
So he wanted a broom. Eh, it happens. Hopefully they'll have brooms next time we're there. But they have their locations in not just Dublin. They also have one in London, Edinburgh, and in New York City. If you happen to be in any of those cities, I strongly suggest you check them out. They are a ton of fun and definitely worth the hour and a half, two hours that we were there. It was an awesome experience. So there you have it, my witches and wizards, the first portion of our trip through Ireland. If these videos are helpful for you, please like, subscribe, share them with others. I'm sure that they will find these interesting as well. And as always, my witches and wizards, keep your eyes peeled, your ears open, and your wands ready. And your potion goblet full. And your potion goblet full. <laughs>